Hello and welcome to Fresh and Forage Fangs. I'm your host, Carolyn Dugas, and today we will be learning about wood sorrel, also known as nature's tangy green fangs. Wood sorrel is a common plant found the world over and beloved by children and adults alike. It has a wonderful lemony taste, sort of like a Granny Smith apple, but with less astringency and less sweetness. Join us as we meet wood sorrel in the wild and learn some fun uses for its leaves and pods. As always, please verify with reputable sources that you have the correct plant before consuming it. Thanks for tuning in. Alrighty, let's skip botanizing. Today we'll be taking a peek at wood sorrel species, also known as oxalis particularly Oxalis stricta, which is a common garden denizen and a creeper around the edges of houses. I like to call Oxalis the three of hearts because it has three heart-shaped leaflets which connect right at the very tip of the heart. And these leaflets are often creased, so they kind of look like a paper valentine that you would make as a kid. Every once in a while, someone will confuse a clover for an oxalis species, but as you can see in this photo, clovers have rounded leaflets, whereas oxalis have three heart-shaped leaflets. They're the three of hearts. Now, oxalis can be found throughout North America. There are many species, and most of them like shade or moisture. Oxalis stricta in particular can be found creeping along the base of your house, getting up in your garden, providing a little bit of ground cover to your garden plants. They also provide a tasty nibble to any garden wanderers or woodland adventurers. Wood sorrel is known and beloved for its tangy apple-like taste. It gets its delightful tang thanks to oxalic acid. Now, oxalic acid is something to be mindful but not fearful about. Some people who have a history of kidney stones might want to avoid consuming large quantities of oxalic acid. On the other hand, Oxalic acid is present in many common foods, such as spinach and even chocolate. So, as always, be mindful but not fearful. Don't go making this your main source of food. But it's a delightful trail nibble, and it's wonderful in all sorts of salads, snacks, and pestos. Now, one of the best nibbles on the wood sorrel plant, in my opinion, is the tiny green immature pods that it produces. Now this may sound like a mouthful, but these pods are where it's at. They are crunchy, they are tangy, they've got a great texture, they're a wonderful topping to salads, they're a wonderful crunchy snack, and the best way to harvest them is with a hand comb. So you're gonna use your fingers, you're gonna make them into a very large format comb, you're gonna slide them into the wood sorrel and gently pull up and that will help you harvest just the pods. The pods are roughly one third to one half inch long, and they are the source of much delight, as we will soon explore. In 10 ways to have fun with wood sorrel. First off, you can amaze and delight your friends with your new facial hair. Then you can peel them like a tiny green banana to reveal the delicate seeds inside. Next, you can eat it like a tiny corn on the cob, typewriter style, of course. You can create a surprisingly spiky fist bump. Or masquerade as a unicorn. And in moments of duress, you can shoot them at your enemies. In more peaceful times, you can use them to decorate your own face with a wonderful heart-shaped confetti. Or frighten the local townspeople with your vampiric fangs. If you want to go on the sweeter side, wood sorrel makes a lovely bouquet. And of course, the leaves make a nice portable snack. Thanks for tuning in and let us know what your favorite way to work with wood sorrel is in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing for more flavorful foraging content featuring abundant and invasive plants. Thanks again, and as always, happy foraging!